Hey guys, it's Riley and today I'm here to share with you guys a quick Finns haul. So first I'd like to say sorry for any background noise. I live in Illinois and we have crazy cicadas right now so I did close the windows but you can kind of still hear them. And also the dishwasher is running. So first, apology. A few days ago I went to the bins with my sister. Unfortunately it was right before closing and we knew that we were planning to be there for about 40 minutes, but then my dad asked us to drive him to the garage to pick up his car. So that cut about 20 minutes out of our trip. So literally when we walked in, there was an employee standing there and he's like, we close in a few minutes. And I'm like, I know, and a few minutes is actually a half hour, but they were like trying to kick everybody out. I decided to pretty much only look at the shoes. I kind of skimmed the clothing bin. So I think I have like one clothing item to resell myself and then the rest are shoes. That is what I'm gonna share with you guys today. The things I found in like 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I pay $1.29 per pound and since it's mostly shoes, it is probably a higher cost of goods than normal. I haven't calculated my cost of goods yet, but I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> and I'm assuming it's gonna be between two dollars and two dollars and fifty cents per item per pair of shoes i filled up two reusable tote bags and paid forty dollars i'm pretty sure like 38 something for the two bags um so let's just get into the haul so as i say i picked up mostly shoes but i believe this is the one clothing item i found to resell on poshmark it is chico's 100 percent linen i don't sell a whole lot of chico's and when i and when I do, I don't sell it for a lot. This is like a summer pon no, it's not a poncho, just like a caftan wrap thingy. It is sized as one size, but I don't list things as one size. I'll probably make two listings and one will be a medium and one will be a large. I mean, being 100% linen does help. We're in the right season. So hopefully this piece will sell for like $20. They had it priced at $7, which is kind of a lot, <laughs> but not surprising. I do take stuff to Once Upon a Child to sell for cash money. This piece is experimental for me because it is a, it says school uniform and then it's a husky size. So I don't know if this is something they necessarily pick up for Once Upon a Child, so we'll find out. These are priced at $4, never sold. And I think these are the only two other clothing items I grabbed. This is just Oshkosh little piece. Uh, they had that price at $3 and it never sold. And this, I believe, is also Cat and Jack. Yes, a 3T Cat and Jack. They had this price at $1.99. And I got it at the bins. Um, I love selling to Once Upon a Child. For me, it's more predictable than taking stuff to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange, which I do, and Plato's Closet, which I totally quit because that's hard. They pretty much buy anything in good condition in recent years from any brand. I always leave there with like 60 to 80 bucks. So that's just a few pieces to add to a tote to take them eventually. So now on to the shoe finds. Everything here is going to be listed and sold on Poshmark because that is the only place I sell. These are LL Bean Bean Boots. I will say I did not get a chance to check everything over because I was moving so fast. So I just did quick scans, hoping it's all in good condition. Um, I'm not seeing a size on these. I'll have to figure out a size. Oh, is it on the bottom? Yeah, I don't remember. I feel like I've sold, maybe I've sold Bean Boots before. These are a solid pickup and these are actually in really great condition. I would expect at least $40 for these ll bean bean boots so i've actually picked these up at the bins before and sold them last year i picked them up last spring they are lucky brand flats literally this exact style so listing will be super easy all i have to do is copy my listing over they did take a while to sell but they're in good shape a, literally a couple minute listing because of i already have everything they're a six and a half this might even be the size i had sold so hopefully these are 15 to 20 dollar sale i found so many good single shoes but people here like to throw shoes around and shoes get separated they're not usually rubber banded together so when i found a good shoe pretty much every good shoe i found did not have its mate and i didn't have time to look through all the bins to find the mates so um most of those good shoes had to go back off at the top of my head I found an antelope shoe. No, I forgot the rest. Okay. These are just Clark's little florally sandals. Sometimes Clark's sell in a few weeks for me. Sometimes they sit for three years. Uh, but I just figured we're in the right season. I just wanted to grab stuff to have to list. So 
Hopefully I can get $18 for these. Okay, I was so glad I found the match to this because they were once rubber banded together, but they had lost each other and the bin, but luckily they were still close by to the same area. So I did find these. Uh, they are Olakai's. That is the Olakai symbol. It's like the Hawaiian fish hook. I believe that's what it is. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, here is the inside. And actually, these look in relatively good shape. Sorry, you can't really see. Olakai is like a surfer brand, possibly Hawaii. I mean, that is like the Hawaiian fish hook, I believe. There's that. So these are like a knit. They're not really canvas. A knit sneaker. And the ones where you can like slip them on and wear it like that or wear it as a sneaker. And again, there is the logo. They got their logo everywhere. Uh, and actually these were in the store for $22 and they never sold. So they went to the bins. And I don't know if these are men's or women's, but both men's and women's sell well in this brand. These retail over $100 easily. So I always pick up this, this brand in good condition. I'm hoping I can get these clean because they're super cute. They are embroidered Converse high tops. And look, they got strawberries and bead embroidery throughout. And they are dirty. I think I can still sell them even if they are dirty, but I'm gonna throw them in the wash with some other sneakers I have and hope they clean up. They are a youth size three, but I do still sell youth kids converse sizes. And so I'm gonna hope they get a little bit cleaner in the wash. And then depending on how clean they get, I think I can get like 16 to 22 dollars. My sister tossed me these, so I didn't even really look at them. I just tried to make sure they were in good enough shape. They are kids' New Balance color block. Uh, the toes do have some wear, but I am okay with that. I think as long as it's just the toes that are a little bit scuffed. I mean, man, it's not great. Um, I can't really, let me know if you have a trick for cleaning up suede like this. I've tried suede cleaner and I feel like it actually damages the shoe more, but luckily the sides are in good shape. Just the toes. I don't know comps on these, but I often sell kids like Nike and Adidas for 10 to $16. And so I would think these would be in the same range. I'm pretty picky with bands because I come across so many in the bins and they're often damaged. So I'm pretty selective with the style and condition. So these ones are actually pretty clean. I'll probably just take a magic eraser and try to get some of this off. But if you know, taking magic eraser to the sides of bands and converse, it totally destroys the magic eraser. It's almost not worth it. Um, other than that, like, I guess they have a little bit of dirt, but since they're suede, I'm not gonna throw them in the laundry machine. I'll just sell them as is and hope for $25. I can usually get that for like the skate style vans in good condition. I actually picked up another pair of bands. I should tell you, I don't remember what I picked up. It was literally so fast um, and I haven't looked at it in like four days. So another pair of bands, again, that like skate style, all black canvas. I could throw these ones in the wash, but they don't really need to be washed, especially since they're all black, that helps. These ones are, oh, these are actually a youth. They're youth size four and a half. So maybe more like $18 on these ones. I'm thinking about taking these ones to buy, sell, trade. I haven't totally decided yet. They are ASOS design shoes. And so I know if I take these to buy, sell, trade, the specific store I'm thinking of, they'll price these at a minimum of $22, which I take 50% in store credit, giving me at least $11 to shop in store. Um, I know I could sell them. They are a trendy loafer with the lug sole. They're a bigger size. They might even actually be men's. So I'll just do a quick search on Poshmark to see how ASOS shoes are doing in general. If they seem like they're not selling often, I'll probably take them to buy, sell, trade. Um, this is not a brand I recommend you to pick up. Um, why did I pick up? I don't know. I saw these and I actually passed on them and my sister's like, do you want these? And I was like, ah, fine, whatever. It's the bins, which is part of the problem. Uh, I didn't even tell you the brand. It is Louise AC. I mean, again, a brand I would not memorize. It used to be sold at Nordstrom. I don't know if it still is. So that's where I've had experience selling it. I've picked it up at last chance a few times and it sits and sits and sometimes it sells. But I thought this was a cute style. It would be better if the, toy, the 
the toe was pointed. I feel like just the round toe is not very trendy right now, but it is a Mary Jane style, which I do think is cute. They're nine and a half. Um, they are in good condition though. I'll probably just price them around $25 and hope to get about $20. Let's just hope I don't like that's a great profit. I'm happy with that profit for me. I just don't want to sit on them a year to make that profit. We are in sandal season, which is the main reason I picked these up. They are Zara and Zara sizing is so weird on shoes. I always have to go online and try to figure out the size chart uh, because these ones say 35 on there and 35 would be like a size five. But I wear like a six and a half and these actually fit me pretty well. So I will check the size chart and see what it says, but I'm probably gonna list them as a six and a half and say that they fit a six and a half because they fit me. Uh, they do have like a decent amount of wear on the bottom. So I'm probably only gonna try and get about 15 for these. I really just grabbed these cause we're in the right season. This is a brand I only pick up at the bins, clothing and shoes. It is Michael Kors, more specific, Michael Michael Kors. It looks like I'm wearing a necklace. <laughs> um, but people do buy these. Oh, look at that. They were in the store for $19. People don't buy them for $19 at thrift stores, but people do pay about $19 online for Michael Michael Kors shoes. And these ones are in really good shape. Unfortunately, as I say that, I think I knew this when I was picking it up. The interior leather is peeling if you can see I always disclose that and people still buy shoes with the interior peeling it's like annoying but I think if people feel like the exterior is in good condition and they're getting a good deal they don't mind so I will probably try to get 18 to 20 dollars for these these for sure need a little bit of a cleanup they are J Crew flats and somewhere uh I'm assuming not oh actually you know it's funny Okay, so these say 9.5 on the inside, so I thought that was the price somewhere at some thrift store at some point in time, but actually the size is 9.5, so I feel like maybe that's <laughs> related somehow. So these are just J. Crew ballet flats, and I feel like there's always somebody looking for ballet flats, even if they're not the trendiest style at the time. Uh, the inside does need to be cleaned up a little bit. I'm okay. I actually, I, I know a lot of people don't like cleaning shoes. I do like cleaning shoes. I just often don't find the time to clean them. Uh, so I have a nice big death pile of shoes that need to be cleaned. So I'll add this to the pile. But then once I get them cleaned, I think these could be a $20 to $25 sale. These are in the store for $23 and they never sold. So I grabbed them. They are Aldo which I'm sure you're familiar with Aldo. It's a mall shoe brand. I don't, do, I don't think they do clothes. I think they're shoes and accessories. This is a pair I would consider taking to buy, sell, trade if we were in the right season, but it is June and they say they only buy in season. I mean, if these were Burberry, they would buy them, but they're Aldo, so, so they won't. Um, but I can sell them. I do have luck selling like Nine West and Aldo for these probably like 25, honestly. They're size 11. I actually saw these lying in a bin thinking, oh my gosh, buy, sell, trade would love those. And I do think buy, sell, trade would love them. But then I looked at the brand. I don't think it was on the bottom. No, it's not. I had to open up the shoe and look. And I don't think you're going to guess the brand. Let me know. Did you guess correctly? It is Cole Haan. So these are like Y2K Cole Haan boots. And since they're beautifully embroidered with some sparkles and they're Y2K, I think I can sell these myself. They're a size eight as well, which is nice for shoe sizing just because it's so common. However, I do sell shoes in all sizes. Very rarely do I pass on a pair of shoes because of size. I'd say like once it gets to like size five, I'm a little more picky, but that's about it. So I have no idea on comps for these, but I do think they will sell. These were actually in like an accessory bin and I skipped over them because I checked the bottom I didn't see anything and kind of like did a peek inside and was like, meh, don't see anything. Then my sister came up to where I was shopping and was like, oh, those are cute. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think they're anything. And she looked and she's like, they're J. Crew. I'm trying to see if I can show you. I definitely can't. It's hard to even see in there. Yeah, it's too dark. But if you look closely, you can see the J. Crew. So I did grab these cute j crew rain boots i honestly hate shipping rain boots and i hate storing them 
So I do try to move them fast. Again, a size eight, which is a nice common size. Uh, they do just need a little bit of a washcloth off. So maybe, since I'll try to move them quickly, maybe $20. Okay, so I thought I showed you all the clothes, but I guess I didn't. These are kids at Levi's for buy, sell, trade. And kids, yeah, for buy, sell, trade. All brands that I don't sell on Poshmark for kids, so it just goes to once upon a child. This is so fun. Hopefully they give me more for this since it's sparkly. Okay, I grabbed these as an experiment. <laughs> I do sell kids' vans. I like selling kids' vans. They usually actually move relatively fast for me for about $15 to $20, depending on the pair. And that's like kids, like toddlers to size like one or two. The youth size I feel like is kind of weird because that's when you start either shopping for men's or women's shoes. Anyway, I saw these. I thought they were cute, but they are dirty. And like if they were in this condition I think I could only get like ten dollars max so I'm gonna throw them in the washing machine with some other sneakers I have and just see if I can get them any cleaner and if not I will expect ten dollars and if I can get them cleaner maybe more fifteen dollars <laughs> another clothing item I think this is actually the last one uh gap kids little chino shorts I forgot these were in my bag but looking at them I remember a story I was shopping Next to a woman, I grabbed these, not from in front of her, and I grabbed them and looked at it, and I was like, oh, Lucky Brand sandals. I sell Lucky Brand shoes from the bins, and I put them in my bag, and then I, like, remember this woman just, like, looking at me, like I had taken something from her, and just kind of watching me for a while, and I was like, did you want these? Like, they were over here, and you're over here, but she didn't say anything. I would have gladly given them to her if she had wanted them. It was just weird, you know? She watched me pick them up, look at them, and put them in my bag, and then she kept staring at me. So these Lucky Brand sandals, unfortunately, the lining is peeling up a little bit, so I'll glue them down. This one is actually okay. It's just this shoe. And then hopefully they're in really great shape besides that. The suede is nice. Um, maybe close to $20 for this pair of sandals. Honestly, I think I would have had a lot better shoes to show you if I had gotten there earlier. Not because the good shoes went fast or anything, but because the good shoes were singles spread out all over the place and I couldn't take the time to find matches before they kicked us out of the store. So I got a bunch of bread and butter like these Sanook yoga mat sandals. These ones, the yoga mat ones with the leather straps, tend to sell about $18 for me. If they're the wedge, I can usually get a little over 20 and I have purchased them before without realizing that the size was rubbed off. So I do like to check to make sure the size is in there. My sister actually picked these up and asked me if I wanted them. And I probably would have passed on them if she wasn't there. Because I'm kind of turned off by the scallop strap. I feel like it's not that trendy. But I asked her, I was like, you think these are cute? And I mean, she's Gen Z, she's much more on the TikTok and the fashion trends than I am. I say that like I'm 45 or something. I'm literally 24. I just dress in comfy Purusha people tank tops and free people movement boy shorts. <laughs> anyway, she told me they were cute, classic black pumps. And I was like, okay, I'm bins pricing, I'll get them. And as I, then I realized later when I was thinking about it, I was like, she wore these basically exact same shoes to my cousin's wedding last year. I'll check comps to see where to price these, but going off the top of my head, this is their older um, logo. They've updated it since then. Not too old, they're still like a black heel, but I'm thinking 20 to 25. I saw these in a bin. I'm glad they were rubber banded together. And went, reached all the way to the back of the bin to grab them. They are AGL, is that upside down? Hard to tell on camera. AGL Flats. Now this is a crazy expensive brand. Hundreds of dollars for a pair of flats. The thing is they used to be much more popular. When I first learned about this brand like back 2016, 2017, I could sell them for like $40 at least. Now, I mean these ones are in good shape but I think they'll sit around for me to sell them for 30. However, paying bins prices, I'm still happy to sell a $390 shoe for $30 and somebody feels like they got a good deal. These ones are actually like a little bit of a wedge. My sister found these for me. I think these ones are kids. They look pretty small. So a decent amount of kids shoes to say, yeah, US too. If these were an adult, 
if this style was an adult size, I would think they would go for $30 at least. This is a very trendy Converse style. Uh, so did I even tell you it's Converse with this like platform, almost lug sole. However, these are youth too. So I'm thinking more 20 to 25, which is still great on a kid's pair of Converse. Two pairs of shoes left. I grabbed these dance goes. I actually did pass on a pretty beat up pair of dance goes that in the past I would have bought, but since dance goes aren't doing as well as they did five years ago, this is the only pair I brought home. There is still wear on the toes, but I did the bendy test and they're in good shape. And you know, from like a distance, they look really good. Minimal wear, it's just scuffing on the toes. And actually less so scuffing is more so like someone dragged their foot along cement. So $25 minimum on these. We got to the first pair of shoes I found. I actually just found this single and I was like, what a bummer. The, I'm never going to find the match to this. My sister walked over and I was like, this location never has the matches to shoes. And then I reached and it was right next to it, <laughs> which I'm very thankful for. So I found these Birkenstocks and they're actually like the slingback ones. So they're more expensive. They do have a mark right there and the footbed looks sturdy, but the tread is actually in relatively good shape. So I'm not someone who cleans out the interior footbed of Birkenstocks. People just know they get like that. So I feel like Yes, if I clean them out, I could probably get five more dollars, but I'm just gonna sell them like that because I know there's still a buyer willing to pick them up with the dirtier footbed. These do look like a men's. I will have to search for the size and they definitely came from someone's garage because of that spider web. That is everything I picked up in my 20, 25 minute trip to the bins. I think I did pretty good for the short amount of time, being that a lot of shoes didn't have matches. So. I found a decent amount of matches. Thank you guys for watching this bins haul. I know it's pretty bread and butter, so I hope you still got some value from it. Let me know if any of these are like bread and butter shoe brands for you, or if you stay away from any of these brands. I will definitely see you guys in another video soon. I have more bins content and some Buffalo Exchange Crossroads content. Let me know if there's anything you specifically want to see from me. And that is all for today. Bye guys.